and put him by the house pump. Uh, All right. Oh. Good morning, guys. I have I've got to go to run down to a client's place and do a quick job. Oh, I've had a hectic, well, had a hectic week. So I'm hopeful that this, this week's gonna get this week's gonna get better. Oh, sorry. Um. There is one problem with this car. It's like weird, the volume is delayed, the response. When the car starts, like everything's like a, a little bit laggy. So if I want to adjust the volume, it's kind of delayed. But it doesn't matter any, anywho. Um, my wife is coming white this year. I need to have new tiles. You'll see what I mean by the beveled? Like it's not... Oh God. Weird. It's, it's not straight, yeah. which means if it gets dirty, it's not going to show up as much because of the the dust part. Yeah. All right, I've got a. They look nice. It's going to look good. All right, I'll catch you later. I'm late. Okay. See ya. Bye. I'm not that late. I don't stop for coffee. I'm not that late, <laughs> according to Google. Um. Yeah. I've got to go. Present a web application that I've just finished developing for a client so my appointment's at 11 it's 10 33 I'm in Frankston with the client in Oakley so it should be interesting should get there Google reckons one past 11 got a bit hold up because the wife had to get a second dose this morning um, she didn't want to take the kids obviously for obvious reasons so the kid stayed with me, but she didn't get back till about five minutes ago. And then I, I was like quickly setting up the GoPros again, which took me five minutes. Um, but anyway, uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because this is half an hour on the road, which I otherwise would just be driving. And I thought I would talk to you guys about, well, it's gonna be no video this week, except for this video you're seeing now. So I'm basically filming the video that's going up tomorrow for our weekly upload because we are pretty much out of video content with all the lockdowns that we've had the last six months. Um, so we've exhausted all our avenues to bring you, you know, a weekly upload and hopefully with what we've been told on Sunday, we're allowed out in Metro anywhere. Even though we probably can't get to full drive tracks, we might, uh, we might go out and do some camping cause, or something like that. I think we're allowed to go to Yarra, uh, Yarra, where is it? Uh, Yarra Junction? Yarra Junction, no. Yarra Rangers, sorry. Yeah, we're allowed to go to the Yarra Rangers. So, uh, somehow that's Metro. And maybe we can just do, bring all the, bring all the off-road vehicles, stretch their legs and go over all the vehicles. So. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is I think it might be an opportunity for you guys to comment below and tell us what you want to know. So, you know, do you you want us to film information about which vehicle, I mean, anything specific about that vehicle? I think we'll take them all, uh, anyhow, and we'll just do a talk over, over it. But if we have also points that you guys want us to focus on, maybe something you've wanted to know, a more closer look into the snorkel or, um, or something like that we can yeah we can do that um, that's weather permitting I mean if it's pouring down with rain then there'll be no videos unless everyone wants to see us get drowned in water uh, yeah and basically forward planning from next week now we assume we'll be able to go regional probably in two weeks time going by our premieres pattern uh, and if if that it becomes a case we we might have another problem where we won't have a video for another video upload for a week after that simply because we like to record our videos and then normally we don't upload 
those videos for three or four weeks we actually spent time making other videos and then I spend the weekend doing edits now if that's the case that'll probably mean there won't be any videos again the week after that I'm not sure it all it all comes down to what what I can film um, and it's Just letting you know. Uh, yeah, that's great. Okay. Well, I'll go. All right, leave it with me. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye. Okay. Oh, yeah, so that's fun. My customer, my clients changes his mind about the time today. So I'm going to grab a coffee first and just check my schedule and see if I can move some things around. So apparently now it's not at 11, it's at 2.30 I think. Which is not ideal, because I have other appointments today, but we'll see. My oh, fuel price is crazy, it's almost 79.9 from normal unleaded. So that's going to be $2 a litre for Hopefully the adventure is still good, good, good to go for Simpson Desert next year. We're just getting some last minute things together. Uh, I was talking to Martin the other day, and um, that's the owner of the 78 series uh, trip carrier. He, he was just kind of re reiterating a few things that we have to be aware of. Um, I think we've got planning uh, forward now with the trip. There's a addictive day by day trip plan. Um, and you know which part how, how we're tracking through Simpson Desert. I think I think um, after all our discussions, well, we are going to try the French line, uh, maybe halfway, and depending on how, well, not halfway. I think it's like thirty percent of the way. But depending on how it handles it, uh, like how the adventurers handle it, if we're not battling too many difficulties, we can continue all the way um, until heading heading downwards to go to Lone Gum. But if we do have any problems, we'll just we'll just go down early and then jump onto the WAA line. We'll go all the way down Rig Road if if we have to um, to get to the Lone Gum. We're definitely going to get to the Lone Gum Tree because that's where we, we'll record some of um, a, like a good episode of Walls Campfire Cooking. I think he had a few things planned, and after that, yeah, it's essentially we'll, we'll end up going up to Birdsville and then. Um, doing big red in the adventure right now I think there was a guy in our uh, Facebook group uh, the adventure Facebook group that just, just just did it in V8 and he seems to do it after a few goes I don't see any problems with us doing it um, even in the V6s should be interesting I think he wasn't even on I think it was on 17s too so I think we'll have a better chance at this car as he's got stuff falling out everywhere and he's not even in lane wow um, yeah, so it's, we have a very addictive plan between two to three weeks away. I mean, just to get to what it looks like, just to get to Birdsville, it could, it's going to be close to 12 days, I think it 
was 10 to 12 days. And, and we've also got to realise we're filming. We're stopping early so we can get more filming in the scenery. Uh, some feedback that I've seen. You guys love the scenery stuff, so we'll... Rather than me putting the cameras down and going and enjoy that, I'll bring them with me and we'll get some filming of that, photos and stuff like that that you guys can enjoy. Um, yeah, so that's really it. So far it's a four tuner. It's uh, it's going alright. Like I think I'm averaging about 10 litres to 100 k's on this, and that's I'm pretty heavy on the accelerator. The um, throttle control is in ultimate mode and. I mean, normal, I'm not in economy or anything like that, so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, even with the uh, 32s on, it still handles, drives pretty good. I thought we'd lose a lot of, like the cornering and stuff in it was really, really good um, out of the factory for, for a four-wheel drive, in my opinion, um, when I come out of like a sports, sports cars type thing. good and I just thought adding the all terrains with bigger tyres would make it a bit more kind of swayy and not so good in cornering but it's still it's acceptable it's um not as good as the adventurer but it's it's pretty good for car of this height size uh, form factor so overall I'm pretty happy after two 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 months of owning was it three months maybe three months of owning the Fortuna it's definitely a good buy and I'm very happy I traded um, my daily sports line for this uh, and look, same running gear as a Prado, really, um, engine and trans-wise. And it gets off the line acceptably okay. I, I, I reckon it would be very similar, very similar feel to what you would get in like a V6 Commodore type thing. And it's got here from the torque, so towing's, yeah, towing would be an issue with this thing. So happy. And yeah, I've got my fuel economy still out of it, so... I'm gonna go to Bendigo Bank and deposit some cash. I love a cash stop, they'll give you cash, you're gonna deposit to the bank after that. Actually, we are allowed to go there and film. I spoke to Business Victoria and they said we can under COVID 
our COVID permit with our full train action business, but uh, it's really hard because I don't want to toe the line of what's legal and what's not. Uh, and at the end of the day, like I can't have fun. Like we have fun when we go out, and I can't go out and have fun and also film content when I have to, you know, I have to be following COVID safe plan. It's part of all train actions workplace. It's it's too complicated, uh, and it opens us up to criticism that I don't want. I'm not welcoming on the channel. <clears throat> so we'll just wait till we're allowed out there uh, to film any real proper content. We'll go camping, get out a campfire cooking session with Wall, and yeah, we'll get back to normal hopefully soon. So thank you guys for your support so far. Uh, if you're just watching this video, guys, please head head over to our channel page, have a look at all the 200 videos we've uploaded, and if you find content that you really like on this channel, hit the subscribe button, so you get notified when uh, we post up new videos. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. The fortune is going well, I mean, I've run it in, we've done nearly 5,000 Ks in it now since we got it three months ago. It's given me more than I expected out of a four-wheel drive, I must say. Especially for the fuel economy. I'm very surprised how well this car's doing. I think it's doing only like 10 litres to 100, and I'm not, I'm not lighting the pedal either.